Hey, welcome back. We're at 1 Samuel chapter 19 and verses 8 to 10. Let's read it. And there was war again, and David went out and fought with the Philistines and struck them with a mighty blow, and they fled from him. Now the distressing spirit from the Lord came upon Saul as he sat in his house and with his spear in his hand, and David was playing music with his hand. Then Saul sought to pin David to the wall with the spear, but he slipped away from Saul's presence, and he drove the spear into the wall. So David fled and escaped that night. I thought that we just had uh, yesterday morning this promise, uh, nothing, no harm will come to David. I swear on the Lord, I swear by the Lord that no harm will come to him. Uh, Saul was feeling good that day and, and uh, made a promise. But now uh, the spear actually, when Saul throws it this time, it actually sticks in the wall. That must have been thrown pretty hard. If it would, let me tell you, if it would stick in the wall, it would have stuck in David. We can be pretty sure of that. But again, David proves his agility. <laughs> David is very agile, and I think David by now has his radar on, and, and David is, uh, whenever Saul's in the room, I'm sure that, that it's like if you're in a room with a known pit, pickpocket, you're in the room with a known thief, what's, how, do you, how do you address that? Well, you might, be, uh, you might kind of have your, uh, have your radar on and maybe make sure all the time where your valuables are. And so David knows that his life is potentially a risk when he's within physical distance of Saul. And so David was very alert that day. David proves his agility yet again. And David now, again, he's innocent. He, he hasn't done anything against the king, but he flees and escapes for his life. So again, as we talked about before, with God on our side, that's fine. Uh, some will perceive us as being an enemy or something. So God always has an assignment for his workers Sometimes our assignment changes a little bit, or he moves us to a different place in his work. But here the king is relentlessly against David. The leadership is relentlessly against him. He could turn around and, and make a big noise and say, look, I've been mistreated. But now he just flees, and he's, he's not trying to create trouble with the king. Interesting way of dealing with it. I think David is trusting in the Lord God, and I think that's something that we can do as well. Let's pray. Your Father in heaven, please be our leader. Thank you for hearing our prayers. We do look to you for deliverance. We look to you for help when we've been unjustly accused. And we just, we're not really too worried about that. We just trust you and show us what you'd have us to do next. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. May God be with you today in all of your different needs in his service.